first we place the right leg forward and the left leg presses lightly into the floor. The hip pushes forward, chest, high chin, onto the chest and move into a slight back bend. Make sure your shin is always exerting pressure into the mat and breathe. Important. We'll take the other side and mount again. Important pressure into the floor to really feel the activation. If your calf is cramping, you can also put your foot up. Chin on the chest, hip pushes forward, and we move backwards. Breathe deeply, slowly come out again, sit down. Palms point forward, arms are extended. I'll do it sideways so you can see it better. Fingers point towards the knee and about a hand's width away from the knee. There is pressure on the fingers, so really press into the floor so that if I came now, I wouldn't be able to pull these fingers off the floor. There's so much force to it and now you move your shoulders to the left, to the right. Your arms remain fully extended throughout the exercise. They actually tend to push forward. Feet planted at the back, hips pushing forward, abdomen long, chest high, chin on the chest, supported on the buttocks with the back of your hand. We go into our first kneeling position. We just move back here as far as we can. Very good. We now take just the right hand, position forward, again turn sideways. Attention here, the further your distance from the knee, the more intense it will be, of course. And you open upwards with your left arm as far as possible. We are now virtually twisting the front chain with the center of gravity on the arms. Now, of course, we take the left side in exactly the same way, arm stretched, chest high, look behind to the upper hand, in this case the right. Here you can also take different positions. Just look for the commonalities, the tensions in the body, and then hold it. Take your stretch band, grip the outside, I'm going to grip the middle. Hip pushes forward, chest upwards. And we come into our first chest opening. Please don't do a real back bend here. That would be too intense here at the beginning. We hold the chest shoulder opening and we also look at the right side and again at the left side in order to set, set, set certain accents, and then you can come out again. Put the band to one side and take our towel. Put the towel on the right side of the mat and take your stool to stabilize yourselves. Put your left leg on the mat. It is important that the mat or the towel on which you are now resting really slides. Your right leg still presses into the mat. Your right hand supports your hip. Chest rises up onto your chest, chin onto your chest. Now we slide forward slowly on the towel, but the center of gravity is now on the right leg, which presses into the mat. The hand supports as little as possible, as much as necessarily. The theoretically, you don't even need to support yourself. But be careful, then it will of course be very intense. So please, yourself, please support yourself as much and as far as it's good for you. I will now do the other side with you. Always push the knee completely down first. 
loosen the ankle, joint in front, chest up, chin on chest, we push the towel far away. Focus and activation. Attention on the back leg, please press strongly into the mat. We want to open our front chain and come out slowly. Put the stool aside. Take your band. Now just imagine that you're hanging. So I'll hang it somewhere in front. So there it is. Now we're going to bend backwards into a dynamic kneeling position. So this band assists and now we're sort of coming into a dynamic kneeling position. Hips forward, chest up. That's the goal. That you will get into a dynamic kneeling position. Just use the band if you can't hold it freely yet. An assisted stimulus, so to speak. So, we don't have our palms on the floor in front, but we turn them outwards at the back, on the backs of our hands, on the floor with the fingertips pointing outwards, and please take the position on the mat and the width of the mat that is necessary for your arms to be stretched. This position is to bring your wrists as close together as possible. Push out a little from the shoulders. The fingertips also push into the mat. There is activation flowing into the mat. Come out slowly and relax. Grab your band again. You can now just hold it on left and right. You don't have to reach into the loops. Right leg in front, left leg on the floor behind. Open a band and place it above the rib cage so that there is a pull on the rib cage. We pull it apart so that there is a tactile stimulus on the rib cage and we can now push our rib cage upwards even more easily. Very good. Other side. At the back, always control the pressure into the floor. Hip pushes forward, pulling stimulus on the rib cage. Chin stays on the chest. Imagine that you're holding this band with your chin, and now you want to push the band upwards towards the ceiling. And if you release this exercise now, you have also completed this routine.